Mac, thank you. Now, this weekend, the Stroman Class of 1973 is celebrating its 50th class reunion, and this week, we're introducing you to some of the graduates who went on to do great things. 25 News Now anchor Don Brubaker joins us now with our second guest this week. Don. Thank you, James and Karina. And joining us now is Doug Heinold, who has just finished his 16th season as UHV baseball assistant coach. Now, right after Doug graduated from Stroman in 1973, he was drafted by the Yankees. Yes, the New York Yankees. What was, <laughs> what was that like? 12 days, you said, after graduation, you were off to camp? Yes, 12 days after graduation, I was on a flight to Tennessee and I went and played rookie ball for the Yankees. It was... It was quite an experience. Everything rolled so fast. I, you know, I really didn't didn't catch the the full uh, grasp of everything until a little bit later. But but it was quite exciting. It really was. How much of that experience uh, did help you coach the Jaguars? Uh, it was it was a, it was everything because I learned so much during that time, uh, not only playing but being around some great ball players. Uh, you know, when I went to Major League Spring Training, being around some of the best at that time and uh, just learn so much that I'm able to use with the, with the Jaguars. Tell me about the makeup of the 1973 Stroman baseball team. Uh, a lot of the makeup, we, we were a lot from Mission Valley and McFadden, and we had some others, you know, from, or the rest of the team was from Victoria. Uh, we had a really good team. Uh, Mission Valley and McFadden always had good baseball players, so we always made up the, the bulk of the team at Stroman. Uh, and then, some of the players that I'm still in touch with today, like Ernie Helwig, we're still good friends. He lives three miles down the road from me. So, you know, we still enjoy each other's company all the time. One of the things that you learned the most that you've taken on through life from your years at Stroman High School? Uh, how to, a lot of it's how to get along with people. I mean, you're a team. You have to play together. Uh, you don't necessarily have to like each other. But, you know, we normally did. We, you know, I, I really didn't have any issues with anybody. But you learn how to how to deal with people, especially when I went to play with the Yankees. I mean, we had we had guys made from all over the United States, and uh, some of the guys had trouble hearing what I said, uh, you know, because I was had my southern twang. <laughs> you know, and I had a couple of guys from uh, one guy specifically from uh, from the Bronx, New York. I would say some, and he would question me. He said, "What what did you say?" <laughs> So, uh, you know, some of my southern twang kind of mixed in there, but uh, it, it was a very great learning experience that I use. They carry on today, use it in my life today. We've always understood you, Doug. <laughs> Doug Heinold, thank you so much for coming. We've got some more information now. The reunion is this coming weekend. It's Friday night, right? The reunion festivities will kick off on June 30th at the Dutch Lane Pool and Pub located at 1507 East Juan Lynn. And then on Saturday, the celebration continues at Club Westerner at 1005 Constitution. Tickets for classmates are $50. Guests can join the fun for $20. And for more information, reach out to Gerald Shilhab at PDV at glenroselaw.com or call 361-571-4678. Doug, you and the Raiders have a blast this weekend, okay? Thank you, we will. <laughs> All right. James and Karina, back to you.